Hi everyone, I'm getting ready for a group camp. Um, it's going to be a big one, we're going down to West Sussex and I'm just showing you what I'm taking for a two day camp. We're going down Friday, it's going to take us about 10 hours to get down there on a minibus and then we have to leave Sunday by 10 o'clock I think it is. So, my rucksack, my rub sleeping bag. taking toilet roll we've got um portable toilet and some wipes so it's good that we're actually gonna have a toilet face wipes toothbrush deodorant toothpaste pack of tissues just in case cups i've got burgers um for the first night and then i'm intending to go to the pub for the second night um to have something to eat but just in case the pub's not open or it's not serving food i picked up some of these from the camping shop so we've got chicken tikka and rice chili and rice all day breakfast moroccan style bean stew um my eldest son luke's coming with me so that's why i've got plenty because he's like a dustbin he eats everything got my ex bed I've decided to not put it in its original bag and see how it fits in my rucksack without the original bag to see if I've got more room. Sometimes I find when you put things in their packages they end up really bulky and taking up a lot of room so I'm going to see what happens. Sleep mat. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hot down there, but I'm going to take my thermal liner anyway just in case, because you never know when the temperature drops, if it's going to be cold or not. I didn't pack anything up properly last camp, I was dying. So everything was just literally thrown in my bag. So now I'm actually having to pack it up properly. That was a bad camp. I didn't think I was drinking again after that one. Mixed all my drinks, took shots. Ali done a live. And then apparently we were doing push-ups. So just in case I get cold, which I normally do. <clears throat> Got my camping chair. I bought a decent camping pillow. It's a Van Gogh one anyone wants to know it was recommended to me by Craig so that's why I ended up with this one so we're apparently leaving Glasgow at 9 tomorrow morning We're all getting a minibus. A 
I picked up some of these just in case, citronella candles. And this, I found this in Tesco's and it probably doesn't work, but we'll see. We'll give it a go anyway, just in case. I don't feel like getting it alive, but it's got a little blue light in there that apparently zaps the bugs and it has a light on the bottom too. So we shall see if it does. That's the blue light on it, I don't know if you can see it. So it might work, it might not work. If it works, great. If it doesn't, oh well, give it a go. I've got fabric cloth just in case I get any condensation in my tent. I'm taking my Cloud Peak 2. Um, I'm still trying to find some of my stuff because I throw it all together. So there's my head torch. I'm just going to chuck it in this bag. Makes it easier to find it then once I'm down there. Because I think it'll be late when we arrive. So it'll be pretty much setting up tent straight away. Getting something to eat and going to bed probably. And then do all of our introductions and meeting people tomorrow. And I'm going to take the fire maple. And a frying pan because I'm intending to cook breakfast tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Saturday morning. So I've got a breakfast pack that I got from the butchers. And I've got burgers as well. Um, and then I've got those packs just in case as a backup. But I'm planning on eating in the pub if I can. That's my plan. So I got clothes as well spare sets of clothes to get chucked in there last minute and i've got a, an outfit we're all getting dressed up tomorrow so i've got an outfit for tomorrow to wear too so you'll see that tomorrow and then i also picked up glow sticks and the foam ones so i just need Craig to bring the speakers for the music and um, I've grabbed a load of snacks too and I'm intending to drink so please bring in the gin I've picked up vodka cranberry juice and Vimto and peach snaps so we'll mixture we'll make up a few different drinks with those see what happens but yeah I think that is me organised and ready to go, but we'll see. Oh, I, I must have, I think I was an eight half building the stairs. 97 miles left to go. Oh, <laughs> 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 
spam on a pussy here and put a jig in the jig. Even if he used to Just got up. Um, I went to bed early last night because I wasn't feeling very well, but hopefully I'll be alright today. Everyone's still sleeping. Yeah. There's the toilets. Looks like the party tent was a hit last night. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the plan is today, but I've planned on going to the pub to eat a meal. Probably a bit later on. I'll make myself a cup of tea or something in a minute anyway. It's lovely and sunny right now and quite warm. Everyone's pretty much still sleeping, apart from a couple of people are up. And just sat chilling by their tents. Mm. At my back somehow. There's pain going from the, my upper back there straight through to my chest. It's still quite tender but I was having difficulty breathing so I thought oh, I'll go to bed I'm not dealing with this. Um, but I took anti-inflammatories and painkillers and it's eased off massively and I can breathe now which is great. Deep breaths. And hopefully it sorts itself out because I ain't got time for this. So I just want to show you how nice these portable toilets actually are because I was expecting them to be a lot worse. I've got a cute little mirror that I can't reach up there. Stuff to wash your hands and flush the toilet. But yeah, I'm impressed for a portable toilet. Sword. Absolutely solid wood. That's pretty cool, good wood. Oh, yeah. look, that's one. <laughs> that's just a no, you can Point do it. No, you yeah. can do it. I'll do it. But see if you just hold a bit of wood like that and then chop. On you go then. Let's see. See me? I just spread it all the light up with and step back. <laughs> it's getting in the door, isn't it? Yeah, I know. It's cool. That wood is solid, isn't it? You batting it? <laughs> it is wood. That must be Buck. Isn't it? Buck. I don't know, that's kind of solid, mate. Oh, for fuck's sake, you keep hitting the right. Oh, you're alright. <laughs> Step back, take you out. There you go. Nah. Anger management, you say? Anger workshop, Lisa. We can just start it with what we've got. Do you like your car? You're like, I don't care, we're getting down there. Mm. <laughs> How big are your wheels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
got a couple more to go. Oh, God. Mystic Fire or whatever it's called. Get them on, yeah, get them on eBay. Uh, uh, eBay, no. Uh, eBay, um, Amazon. I was just. No. Oh, they go, there's paint burning there. Yeah, it's, 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 it's normally you throw the copper pipe in there or burning the paint off. That's when it's yeah. Well, this is it. Sunday morning. And we're um, going to get sorted and pack up and head as soon as possible because it's a long drive back. Didn't really film much just because I was enjoying being here and meeting everyone. We had a quiz night last night which was good. Our team won. It's a beautiful day. Taking all of our stuff, packing up, ready to go. I'm gonna say bye to her before we leave. Leave no trace. <laughs> We're packing up, ready to go. Taking all of our rubbish with us. I'm gonna say bye to everyone before we leave, but that's us pretty much ready. Thanks for watching. It's going to be a long drive back. Tell you something. Bench press is just done. Can't believe you're letting your mother do everything for you, Joe. That's my name. Double D's.